What is up you guys? It's your spiritual fairy godmother and I am back except for I am not back with another read. I am back with a very open, a very candid vlog. Okay, so I'm gonna have to be hot for a minute because I really want to talk to y'all. So I wasn't gonna say anything. I wanted to get Jonathan's okay first and I wasn't even gonna bring it up to him but he actually brought it up to me today. Um... a couple days ago and yeah so that's what i've been dealing with that's kind of why i haven't really been posting videos i've been really really busy i just bought a dog um yeah i just bought a dog and i'll be posting videos on uh, me rescuing a pit bull um so that'll be a series coming to my channel but also um i want to talk about like my experience being a woman a now single mother again um a single mother again and just my experience from the outside with my man being locked up um yeah so without getting into too much of our business or too much of like our situation um i'll pretty much just be documenting us like when he called me um, whenever you know we talking and we we do want to share that with y'all we will um he's an artist so right now we're kind of both going through a lot struggling with kind of like you know jonathan has when we met jonathan had just got out of prison he had just done years in prison he came home in february and um this was the longest he had been out he had been out for a while and we made it to a year in our relationship and um yeah so this is kind of something that's different it's kind of something that was just that just happened and right now we're working through navigating it like we're working through getting through it and kind of proceeding with our lives and um just basically loving each other like loving the shit out of each other through no matter what happens through no matter what god throws at us like me and jonathan we we've been through a lot this past year and we truly fell in love through a crisis you know and we watched each other struggle we watched each other be triumphant we watch each other like become adults We watched each other become adults and my man fucked up you know like he fucked up and he's aware of that like we're aware of that this is something that we've been talking about for a year now um just changing our lifestyles and becoming becoming who we want to become and i think that this is just a part of it this is a part of his process this is a part of his purging you know he has to purge this 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 out of his life and that's it is what it is and i know that god is working in mysterious ways i know i know i know something is happening like there's no way we're going through all of this like we just lost two babies back to back and then he's gonna go to jail it's just like i know that a lot of the shit that transpired was because of his depression was because of us losing our kids and how that affected him so i want to make sure to stand strong in our story i want to make sure that his story is still told that his music is still being listened to and that people still know who we are as people you know like we're good people we people who deserve to to live the life that we want to live and i think that we just got caught up in our circumstances you know and i'm it sucks but i i now have to be have to be everything for our family i have to be his support system i have to be his woman i have to be his best friend and i also now have to be a single mom um and it's hard because before it was like i don't know before it was just different i wasn't a single mom like i had a man living with me helping me with my baby helping me with my bills helping me in general like i didn't i wasn't alone in this shit like i had somebody who had my back 
and now they took him from me shit he took himself from his family like realistically that's just real shit and it's sad to say it like it really is sad to say it but I mean I got us and I know that he got me from in there I know that I still got a man he's still my man you know I don't gotta worry about that but it's just it's hard it's hard it's it's hard um, so I filmed something a couple days ago that I'm actually going to insert in right after this clip That'll just kind of show you guys kind of where I was um, The day after it had happened when I had finally got to talk to him Because the night before I'll tell you guys a story time and all of that Maybe I'll even do it with him But the night before I knew I knew it was something because I reached out to his friend And I've never done that and I'm just kind of like I can't get a hold of Jonathan because I can always get a hold of Jonathan. That's the one thing that I can rely on with my man. I can always get a hold of him. Like, I can always get a hold of my man. So when I couldn't, I knew that it was some funny shit going on. Like, I definitely did. So, yeah, this is just now my life right now. I'm staying prayed up. Um, Jonathan is not really being optimistic right now, but I, I get that, that that's just where he is because of what happened. Corona is happening, so he's on lockdown for 20 hours a day um, because he can't get the vaccine. It's a five-month wait, and that's good because baby going to be home before then, and he's not going to have to get that fucking vaccine because we're not doing that. Um... But yeah, I'm finna go give me a massage. That's why I put out the camera because I told myself like I'm finna give me some wing stop. I'm finna give me some liquor. And I'm finna give me a massage. I'm finna spend money on all of those things. I also bought me a label maker. Um and some envelopes so that me and Jonathan can like write letters back and forth and shit. But I got the um label maker for my edibles and shit because I need to make some fucking money, like I need to make some fucking money, bro. I need to make some fucking money. I need to be able to pay for these jail calls. I need to be able to pay for home wave. I need to be able to pay my bills still. And now I'm not just having to pay fucking four hundred dollars. Now I gotta pay the whole the whole shebang by myself. So yeah, it's just it's a, it's a lot happening right now, and I want y'all to be with me on this journey i want y'all to be with me in this whole process because i'm fucked the fuck up i'm fucked up and i'm trying to get myself in a better i'm trying to put myself in a position to win so when i say i'm gonna spend this money i'm gonna get a massage i'm gonna um do all this shit this money that i could be spending on my room but i'm not even gonna flex you know i just feel like this gonna put me in a position to make money this gonna put me in better spirits this gonna this is gonna put me in a position to win, so that's what the fuck I'm finna do. I'm finna go up in here and go get a massage, and I'll be back.
being moved around, situations are being put in place, whatever opportunities are being granted to us, like I'm just right now, I just need, I just need this to be a, a blessing. <laughs> I just need this to be a blessing. I need whatever is happening in my life right now, I need it to be a blessing. Like I need something to shake about this. Like I myself into this shit. I allow myself into this shit and I just feel I just don't know. Like I just I feel like I don't know shit and I mean that's okay. It's okay not to know everything. I'm very aware of that. But right now I feel like I don't know anything. I don't know anything and I'm I'm okay with that. You know, I'm okay with the ideal of just letting God show me, like letting God just guide my steps and show me the way because at this point, um, you know, I really just am scared, scared about life sometimes and you know, I don't want to let fear keep having a hold on me, like taking control of me because I was watching some video and she was like, fear is something that you put in yourself. So, um, Vibrant Peace or something like that. She does living in her car videos. <laughs> Shout out to her. But it just, I don't, I don't want to keep allowing fear to dictate my life, to rule my life. And at this point, it is, it is. And at a time where I can choose to be so afraid, I'm going to choose to be so strong. Not only for my men, but for my babies, for, for myself. You know, for for everybody, for everybody who's um gonna watch this whenever I am able to post this, whether it's in months, years, or whatever the fuck. Like, I want I want people to be able to to feel not alone in in what living a certain life gets you. You know, like I'm a person who is black. tough love and I know that when I'm giving my daughter tough love I know that when I'm yelling at her or um, disciplining her I know that it's for her best you know it's just I know that I'm doing it with good intentions even if it hurts my feelings or even if I know it hurts her feelings but at the end of the day we need discipline or we need sadness we need grief we need a storm sometimes to replenish the earth to, to bring that spring energy in and I feel like I'm I'm trying to get over my storm, you know, but I'm recognizing that storms always come. That's a it's a part of life, it's a part of being on earth. Storms come, weather change. And at this point in my life, I'm just trying to figure out how to be the best version of me every other day, every different day. You know, like I can't I can't beat out tomorrow's me. I just can beat out yesterday's me. That's it. You know, I have to keep, say their names, 
Layla, Brianna Taylor, 26, Jay Anderson Jr., Seville Smith, 23, Wisconsin, Adam Tremell, Janisha, Tony Robinson, Terry Williams, 19, Wisconsin, Tyrese West, 18, Wisconsin, Jesse Hernandez, 17, Alvin Cole, Jason, defund the police, period, Milwaukee. Say their names. Period. I felt that. Ooh, I felt that, baby. Ooh, that, ooh, that just did something to my spirit. Like, people, God makes sacrifices. God has people that are supposed to ignite something in people. In Zion's death, my baby said they ignited something in me, baby. That's for sure. That's for sure. Jonathan going to jail, oh, baby, this going to ignite something in me because ain't no way, um, Ain't no, ain't no way I ain't, I ain't finna go hard. Ain't no way I ain't finna get it. Ain't no way, ain't no way. Ain't no way none of that shit. Like, what? You say who? What? <laughs> like, I need my baby home. I need my husband home. Like, this man was finna be like, me. Like, stop me. This man is gonna home. <laughs> my man gonna be home by Monday. Mark my words, today is Thursday, March 20th. My man is going to be home by Monday or Tuesday. Mark my words. My man is going to be home by Monday or Tuesday. Okay? My man is going to be home by Monday or Tuesday. family it is what it is i fucks with y'all y'all fucks with me so yeah <laughs> but <laughs> yeah i just bought my eyes out and just had plenty of different emotions in the span of the 12 minutes that it took me to get to my doctor's office everything be scaring the shit out of me today let me sit in my sorrow Promise I'll be better tomorrow The one that you love hasn't changed It's just one of them days mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. minding my business I know you wanna check up on me But today I don't want it I just If I could please sometimes it's okay Going in the room and just sleeping all day, like throwing a t-shirt over his 
basically just sleeping all day. And I just, I feel so bad. I feel so sad. Like, I don't really understand how to, how to fix this or how to get through this. But I am, you know, I am. Um, and I think it's kind of weighing on him. Like, he has PTSD that, you know, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna be solid because that shit has happened before to him. Motherfuckers not being solid, whether that be friends, family members, whoever. It just feel like I don't wanna I don't want to put us in a position of worrying more about some shit that don't need to be worried about. So I'm trying my best to just be strong and keep pushing and keep going, keep grinding and just really keep making money for us like for us not only for our family but for us to be able to talk to each other every day because that's his everything right now that's his love that he getting that's his entertainment like that's him kicking it that's his everything right now us being on the phone and we only get to be on the phone for an hour a day we get like three um 20 min 20 minute increment calls and sometimes he won't use all three of those calls on me like sometimes he'll call me twice and then he'll call his mom or he'll call one of his friends or something but yeah once he's on a regular unit with everybody else um then you know things will be different he'll have other people to interact with and all kind of stuff like that but because of covid and because of how he came in he is on an observation unit so uh, it's just annoying. It's a lot to deal with, but I did want to keep y'all updated. Let y'all know how I'm dealing with things, how he's dealing with things. He's in good spirits. I notice that every time we get on the phone, he's just like, I can't go to jail for life and they can't kill me. Like, that's what he keeps saying. Like, I think that's his way of trying to, like, think about it. Like, not set himself up for failure because I, I think he's scared to get his hopes up. Because at this point, he's really, really nervous. I know he's really nervous. But I got him. Like, his whole thing is, well, they can't give me life. I can't die in jail. And I'm like, yeah, baby, that's cool. I get you. But, nigga, you're not even finna get a year. Like, you're not even finna, like, you know, it's just like, damn. Like, I want to be that tunnel of light. I want to be that tunnel of vision to where he not losing sight on that shit. Like, he not losing on sight on the shit that we, we, we got to do. Like, we supposed to be doing. And, yeah, he got to do that shit from in there, but we got to make this shit happen. Like, he still got paid videos. He still got shit that he can drop. You know, like, it's just, we got to keep the ball pushing. We got to keep the ball moving. And I'm trying to be his motivator, but also I'm trying to be my own motivator. Like, I haven't cleaned my house in, like, a week. Last night was the first time that I, like, deep cleaned my house. And um, I'm almost done with the kitchen now, but I just noticed, like, I noticed how, like, in one area of my house, you can tell that I've been sitting in that same spot for days, you know, because it's like everything that I've eaten, all my trash, all my tissues from crying, my nose, all that shit is just right in the front, like, right on the side of the bed, because I've just been in the fucking bed. But today, I'm going to sit in my living room, I'm going to look at my windows, I'm going to let the sunshine come in, and I'm going to just chill and relax, because I keep being super hard on myself, feeling like I got to go hard, and feeling like I do have to do a lot, and I do, but also, I do need to recharge, and I know that's a, that's a thing that I kind of take advantage of, I take advantage of needing time to recharge, because I'll just nap, or I'll just be lazy. But really, it is so important to recharge yourself because the shit that we are dealing with is a lot. When he calls me, I am taking on his energy so that he can feel better, you know? And he's taking on my energy. Sometimes I have to cry to him because I'm overwhelmed by the shit that's happening in my life, you know? So, yeah. But that's how we rocking. That's how we pushing. That's how we keeping it going. Um, this is part one of this little docu-series type of what's happening in Jonathan's life uh yeah so this was episode one I'm pretty sure um there will be more episodes until he gets out we are praying for him to just for this shit to just get thrown out and for baby to just come home um he's talking about some replications I don't give a fuck he I don't want him to be replicated I just want him to come home fuck a probation like fuck a you know, so I'm just, I'm in the spirit of just good things popping, good things happening. 
positivity, speaking that into my existence, speaking that into my world, and making that shit fucking happen. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are praying for me and Jonathan. I hope y'all are just praying for our family and our well-being. Um yeah and i hope you guys are enjoying these videos um if you are and y'all really really support jonathan click the link down in the description box below i have his um his music link um his itunes or whatever his playlist down there i also will have a youtube playlist of all of his music and anywhere that you can find his social media links or anything about jonathan i'll have all that stuff in the description box below all right y'all i'm out of here